I'm going to just go over a quick concept here on uh, page 27, 28, using ratios to solve for similar figures. So they could be triangles. Um, there on page 28, I see they have a quadrilateral that's not a rectangle, has four sides. But let's, um, I'm going to choose one of the problems that's actually in the lesson to set it up for you. And um, obviously put decimals in there, so it makes it a little more challenging. But let's, let's tackle it, okay? <clears throat> We're solving to find the unknown side x. So in the, uh, in the yellow box across the page there in 27 where they explain how to do this, they say to take one side that we know over another side that we know, okay? And then in the other triangle, take the two corresponding sides. Now, it's very important that if I'm taking the short side here, to the longest side, the in this case it would be the hypotenuse, that I need to do it in the same order over here. So I would do 7.5 over x. I should not put the x on the top and the 7.5 on the bottom, okay? And then to solve, I'll multiply 2.5 times x equals 7.5 times 5. And then the final answer is divide by the 2.5 on both sides, and again, I'll let you finish that problem. But I want to show you that we actually could set it up slightly differently and still get the same answer, as long as we are you know, saying this is to this as this is to this, all right? So watch, I'm going to say the 2.5 is to 7.5, okay? So I'm corresponding these two sides together. This side is to this side as 5 is to x, okay? So I did short side is to short side as hypotenuse is to hypotenuse. And now, even though this looks different than this, watch what happens. When I multiply, you know, cross multiply, I used x instead of n. I guess that's what they gave us, x. And then 7.5 times 5. Look, I have the same problem, okay? It worked out exactly the same. So even though I did the ratio in a little different way, as long as they, the ratio is the same. I don't say 2.5 is to 7.5 as x is to 5. I can't do that. I have to do this is to this as this is to this. You get a little rhythm going, okay, with ratios. When I set it up this way, I'm saying this side, the short side is to this long side in this triangle, as the short side is to the long side in this triangle, okay? So there are two different ways you could solve it and still get the correct answer. Um, just be careful in setting it up, all right?